Isn't there a cleaner? Yeah. Instead of what I'm using now. I think it's yeah. better now. Okay. Yeah. Can you see your teeth? Okay. Oops. Welcome to Spoonsville. Hi. And this is our reaction, our initial reaction to just finishing watching The Green Mile. Yeah. Yeah. We just literally just finished watching literally it. We just finished it. And yeah. Set up. So we thought we'd try and do this after to get the initial response right after watching a movie. Yeah. So I've I've seen it I think once or twice before, and every time it wreaks havoc on me. This is the first time you've seen it. Yeah, it did the same to me. It was it was tough <laughs> to get through. Napkins strewn about the floor. Uh, tissues. <laughs> tissues. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's still kind of pain in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> when movies are particularly deep I, or painful, I, I'm a crier, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the movie was just really tough. I don't even full, like, fully know why, because, I mean, I've seen a lot of sad movies, but I saw it the first time in high school, and I had to pause it probably three times near the end just because I just couldn't take it. Yeah. And um, I think, I think what it is is that it's about a three-hour movie, and it's it's a movie that is able to take all that time to really get you to not even necessarily like all the characters. Half the characters are not likable at all, but they get you to understand the characters, and they're so interesting and and real and physical characters, you know, if that makes sense. And so when something happens, the more you get into the movie, it just impacts and it just builds in such a beautiful way that especially near the last half of the movie i think it's just yeah i find it really hard i challenge anyone to 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 not be invested in it i can't speak <laughs> <Still> can't. <laughs> okay. michael clark duncan plays john coffee just yeah. you know is um yeah just incredible with how he, you, you, he really captured that role perfectly. Yeah. You, um, you feel when he says that he feels like shards of glass digging into his heart, or his brain, from all the pain that people cause on themselves. Like you, you know. Yeah, because I mean, that's that's the thing. the The miracle, I guess, that that are his supernatural powers are such that he's like an empath 2.0 <laughs> um, because empaths are like that, you know, they um, speaking from experience here, um, take on a lot of people's emotions, even if they don't want to. Um, and so that's really his life. Right. And I wasn't even assuaged when, when he passes, when he's about to get electrocuted he's like well you know or, yeah, or like, when this he, is bringing when, me peace I want yeah, this, yeah was it when he was getting electrocuted or when he, when paul asked whether or not what he could do for yeah. him yeah he, paul asks him should i break you out of here yeah. um and he's like you know i really i just want peace you know yeah. and and i get it because because of that those supernatural powers i get it it must be so hard to live yeah. life in that way where you can you really it's not even just being empathic. It's mm -hmm. that you can actually see events yeah. that are painful yeah. that happen to other people. You know, whenever you come into contact with someone, you're able to see what they went through yeah. and and you live with that. Yeah. So I can only imagine how hard it was for him. And I, and I understand in the end when in the movie, when he says that, well, you know, I, I just don't want to go through that anymore. It's like shards of glass. Yeah. Um, I just feel like, I, I don't know. I just wish he, he could have gotten a better. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, who, it's that, who am I even to say, I know, right? It's, like, it's, it's, what's it, better? I think you always feel those two things of wanting him to live, but also realizing he's right when he says, let's go through with it. And it would be hell on earth to be on death row for anyone. But for him, again, you know, 10 times worse, because not only does he feel the pain of those that maybe are innocent or are genuinely remorseful and want to atone for what they did, and then those that are just, for whatever reason, become so, you know, horrible to the core that you have to absorb all that. Yeah. You know? 
I mean, the, even I think the movie tries to give you as much poetic justice as it can with yeah. having the two despicable characters get their comeuppance. Yeah. But it's it's only kind of a, a slight return in, you know. One of the things he talked about is how how lonely he's been in his life yeah. and how he never had friends. Yeah. He he was he didn't have friends, and I can only imagine someone who looked like him. Yeah. Even though you can tell that he's tender and sweet, he's also a huge guy yeah. and just a very menacing yeah. character. And I and I can't also imagine. doesn't really have a lot of like you could say skills apart from his extreme yeah. tenderness and empathy. Exactly. So he's kind of just wanders around. Yeah. Really unable to be helpful apart from his one gift. Yeah. yeah. I can imagine that he wasn't really he didn't really have a lot of um smooth interactions in life and so if you're already someone like that with that kind of supernatural empathy i feel of course life would be so difficult um i mean the movie was great probably better that it, it ended the way that it did hmm. what do you think i i mean i i like the ending i uh not only is it extremely emotional but you know you do get the uh the uh, the comeuppance in a pretty satisfying way with uh, Percy, the one despicable character, getting to go to his, what they call mental care hospital, but not, you know, as a patient, not as uh, someone who works there because he has nepotism connections, you know. Yeah. And then Wild Bill, while well, that was the way him getting shot by a kind of a possessed Percy was kind of the way that they could both get, you know, um, be like at the same time kind of uh by possessing percy that's what then kind of made him kind of unable to explain all the stuff that happened so that the other characters were able to do what they needed to do and not get in trouble for it and and i like the i do like the part at the end where even though tom hanks's character is a good guy and he's always trying in a way he still feels like he did still need to pay his atonement is for living outliving everyone he cares about which is hard to do over and over yeah. again because as much as he says John Coffey wanted it and he would have let him go. He still did at the end give the order to have him get killed. So, yeah. I mean, of course, each time I watch it, I cry. First time most I've ever cried sober. Um, <laughs> but this time, I can't remember if the last two times I watched it, but this time I was even getting getting teary with uh, Edward, was it Lacroix? I can't remember uh, oh, his yeah. last name. It's something Lacroix. Yeah. And the part where he's he's going to get electrocuted and he's talking yeah. about uh mr jingles and uh yeah so that's yeah. getting me too this time it's interesting but i guess the thing one thing i really like about the movie is how they don't really tell you they don't tell you what these people yeah. did except uh john coffee yeah. uh with the girls that that he, they say he killed the girls yeah. but of course later we found find out that they didn't yeah. um yeah you don't really get to find out what the prisoners did mm -hmm. And I, I like that because it's it allows you as an as as a viewer to form your own opinions of yeah. these people. I remember when Edward um, is about to get electrocuted, he he apologizes for it and talks mm -hmm. about how he wishes he could uh, take it back. And even when he was still alive, and yeah. he really just didn't seem like someone who belonged there. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really hard to. For me personally, um, knowing that he actually did do something, it's hard for me to reconcile the empathy I feel for him. Yeah. Just because I saw how tender he was in that uh, in that movie, he was just yeah. a soft guy, and and of course John Coffey with the uh, please, I don't want to don't put the mask on me. That yeah, always gets me. Yeah, um, that was really tough. Let's pause. Yeah. Okay, battery died. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why I liked another reason I liked um, the. The fact that we don't, we're not told what the prisoners did is because it, for me, um, was a, ah. I think a big theme of that movie is that everyone has a past. Uh, no one is wholly good or wholly bad. Yeah. Um, wholly, I mean, it's completely. Yeah. Um, uh, <sighs> yeah, and then I think we were just saying, I don't know, the other great theme of it is about mortality and facing everyone has to face death and then yeah. obviously people on death row have to think about it a lot more and it happens sooner i suppose and and they know when it's happening versus people that don't know when their time will come 
But in the end, as I say at the end, everyone is walking their own green mile, which yeah. is also just saying everyone also is on their own journey too. Everyone's on their own, um, you know, so that's why, again, like be kind to people because you don't know what kind of journey they've been on or, or the things they're going through. Yeah. Yeah. I felt that he really didn't deserve. And I wished that there would have been a happy ending for him. Um, and I don't want to say I have this thing sometimes with movies, they really they try to just get all of these emotions, you know, out of you and kill off a character you love. Mm. They make you love the character and then they kill them off. Mm. Right. And sometimes I'm like, this is just for show. They really didn't have to do that. They could have kept him alive. That happens too in life. But um, life, what happened to Coffee, John Coffee, also happens in life, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I guess it also made more sense. I feel yeah, like if he so. was really someone who, with, if he was really a miracle mm -hmm. with those supernatural powers, I think he probably would have. He's, I think he's done what he was meant to do. Yeah, yeah. he feels that way and he yeah. just wants peace. Yeah. He wants the peace that he deserves and that he looks for in people that he's yeah. never found. Um, so, yeah, I guess if I'm looking at it that way, it's probably more realistic. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just a lot of beautiful moments in the movie, too, between Tom Hanks' character and his wife, between... I guess the the warden and his wife, and then yeah. also yeah, you know, just the, the other guards and yeah, just a lot of yeah. Yeah, I guess we gotta give it a rating. <laughs> ten out of ten. Yeah, I give, it, give I, it a perfect ripe tomatoes rating. All right. Well, should we say goodbye? We should say yes. goodbye. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs>